Hey guys, welcome to Pizza Reviews. Uh, today we're looking at the Umidi G Watch 2. We're gonna kind of go through the setup of the watch, what the watch does, and um, kind of a few basics of the watch and this and the app. If you have any questions, please put in the comments. And if you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. So let's see here. Uh, let's show you guys how to charge the thing up when it first comes in. You take the uh, cord, which I've plugged into uh, just a power bank. The bottom is a magnetic port, just kind of hook it up like that, and it's charging. Also, I just want to show you guys that when you even the watch is charging, there's a little bit of an LED on the very, very top. I believe it's used for notifications as well, and it's used when it's charging up. It's kind of cool. So when we have the watch going, uh, we're going to use our uh, Yumi Digi phone to kind of get it going. So the app you need is called The Fit. Uh, it's maybe a company, C-R-R-E-P-A, whatever that is. Uh, that's the app you need. So I've installed on the phone. So once you open the app, it's gonna ask you for some basic information about the app. Um, mainly male, female, what your age is, what your weight is. You can also set up goals and stuff, but the initial setup, you don't just worry about that stuff. We go in the app here. Uh, first thing we're gonna see is it's not device not linked. Make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on on the actual device. We're gonna go add device and it's searching for the bracelet. See what happens here. Pretty smooth here on scrolling. Okay, there you go, it's connecting. Okay, so it's connected to the bracelet. I think I had it before connected to it. So once you connect, you can connect to the thing, to the watch. So kind of a couple of features we have here. We got uh, watch faces, notifications, alarm, shutter, and others. And also the upgrade. When I first plugged the watch in, it wanted me to do the upgrade. So I just hit the upgrade button and it went through the whole upgrade process, pretty seamless. Uh, the watch had a little going up icon and it upgraded no problem so let's take a look at the options here we got watch faces uh, so we got uh, the three to pick from uh, the initial three to pick from are these guys here and the fourth one is actually downloaded but uh, if we go more watch faces these are the watch faces that are available right now uh, there's about eight of them total from the extra ones yeah, so let's just go back. So when you click on them, we just this just downloads. Uh, click face by download. Let's go back here. So let's just pick the one you've chosen, and then you just click on it, and it's just there. When you open the watch, it's, it just appears. Uh, it's kind of live, live preview of different watch faces. It's pretty quick. Uh, also notifications. We got. Uh, so it goes from phone to messages to Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Skype, Instagram, uh, Kaku Talk, and WeChat. There's also others you can get notifications for. You can set up alarms. I assume the watch will just vibrate. I'm not sure if it makes a noise or not yet, but we'll go through that. Uh, you can also play with the, the shutter. Um, you can set that up on the watch as soon as you do it. Uh, let's go back on that. Uh, there's also other settings. There's the find device, time formats, you can go with different units, you don't disturb, reminders to move, you can also do hydrate measurement, you can pick the language, uh, here are the languages that are available, so some of you guys might be interested in this, so they have a complete list of languages, uh, it goes through a lot of them, there's Dutch, French, English, Russian, Italian, Portuguese, uh, let's go done. Uh, there's also the uh, quick view and the weather as well and you can pick the city you're in uh, at the bottom here so just pick the city search it by name let's get rid of that uh, and they're here so I had some chance to play around with the actual phone itself uh, so I'm gonna profile you can pick what you want 
uh, there are the goals. You can pick and choose what goal you want, how many steps you want to take per day. Uh, also the about. So it's uh, you can actually just upgrade to beta. So I had some chance to play around with it. The monitor is actually pretty good. Um, so in the phone you got the training, you got heart rate, blood, I guess, I guess so two measurements. Uh, there's the messages, weather, there's a player as well with the shutter control, uh, timer, and the settings. In the settings, you can change it to mute, unless I guess the watch does make noises. Uh, the brightness level. And you can switch the style. When you go switch style, it only has the original factory style. You can't switch any other styles on the actual phone itself. So uh, when I play around the GPS, I notice that uh, when you go in the training data here, so now here it makes it look better here. So you can do other activities when you go more training data. I actually did my bike ride here. So it kind of goes through uh, your average, how long you've biked or done whatever activity. And on the watch, there's uh, on the training, there's walking, running, cycling, skiing, badminton, basketball, and football. So those are all the activities you can do. There's no swimming here uh, for those interested in using the watch for their training. Uh, so when you go in here on the actual device itself, you got your consumption, your average heart rate, and it kind of goes through what your heart rate was at different times. Uh, and it gives you the analysis of what you did. And you got lightweight, aerobic. Uh, that's about it. Uh, as far as the watch itself goes, it goes also blood oxygen, it also does uh, measurements on your heart rate and the, I guess it's your body, pre body pressure, and also does sleep and steps. Uh, one thing I kind of noticed with the watch is that uh, it does not uh, work at all with uh, Google, the Google Fit app. It doesn't synchronize any way, shape or form. Uh, the watch has it built in, but uh, it doesn't synchronize, or sorry, the phone has it built in but the watch does not synchronize to it in any way shape or form so I kind of uh, it's kind of a downer uh, I'll just show you guys how quickly it takes the measurements on the uh, we can see here we can do the heart rate measurement so let's put it on here Heart rate, click the measure. It's not bad, it's pretty quick. So, 72 breach minute. We can go home. We can also test the other training. So let's do the uh, blood pressure. Let's check that. There you go. Uh, let's do this guy here. That's 302 measurements. 97%, not dying yet. Okay, anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.